We have a delivery. Viewers are waiting, <laughs> including me. Why are you so curious? Uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Innovating for women has been at the core of the brand for over 20 years. So much of the research happens in the men's space and there's a lot less that happens in women. The woman's foot is different to a man's foot and it just requires different approaches to ensure the best possible experience. I would prefer the fabric and the arch to be more supportive. We made adjustments based off of that feedback. The sensation and the mind space that you're going to experience as you're using the product is really the experience that we're going after. I want that feeling to be unparalleled. I've been waiting for these for a week and a half. Okay, the color is bold. Nice, let me see one. It really feel good. And good grip, feel the bottom. I'm excited. Hey, good. <laughs> Ooh wee! Da 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 da! I really wish I could have gotten white, but this is this is good enough. I like the green speckling on the back. That's cute. Pink and green. This is really nice. I feel like they have good grip for the bottom for my. Yeah, head. terraining everywhere. These are gonna be cool. Okay, let's feel pretty cushy. Let's see if they actually fit. Feel the inside of the tongue. Alcantara suede. Alcantara suede. There's some type of suede on the inside of the tongue, which I've never experienced before. I got them in a size nine, the same size as my other running shoes. Oh my golly. Nice. They're a little salmon-y. I'm not a fan of the, the salmon-y color, but I'm not gonna judge a shoe by its color because my other running shoes are 12 times uglier. I love the green. I think like that's the fun part. Love. Also, I chose this color, so. I only have myself to blame. The plan is to test them for the next few days. I wanna do like a number of activities in them. They're meant for running, so that's what I need to judge them off of first and foremost. But I believe a good shoe should be a little bit transitional. So I'm gonna take them on a walk. I'll do maybe an endurance run, maybe a little bit of a longer run. I wanna know like how comfortable I can be and for how long. Aren't they the only shoe designed for women? From my knowledge, I'm pretty sure that is true. They are one of the first shoes designed that is built around a woman's foot rather than just being transformed from a men's mold. Okay, Looks so good. what do we think? Looks good. Are they comfy? Walk. Feel good so far? Do you feel like you could run in them? I feel like they are like a, a hair too big, but I don't think I would go lower because there's like a little bit of room and with running shoes, like you do want a little bit of space because yeah, strike the ground. They're just like comfortable. They kind of feel like they're molding to my foot. If they make men's, you're going to die over these. They better make men's. I was going to buy them. Hear that, Lulu and Lemon? What do you think? How do they look on me? They actually look really nice. They're like, yeah. When you put on a workout outfit, they'll look 10 out of 10. Like if you match an outfit to them. So are they comfier than you expected? Less comfy? I'd say I was expecting a good amount of comfort and they do it meet that expectation. Yeah. Jump a little like. The only thing I'm like, a t I got my hair <laughs> nervous about is what if they're a half size too big? Is your heel down? In my heel, no. Like in the, a little bit of my toe. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Can't decide. Help! Help! Okay, here's the good news. Even if I am indecisive, which does happen in most cases, they have a 30 day trial. So you can take your shoes for a test run. If you're not satisfied, return them within 30 days for a full refund. It literally says return your shoes in any condition. I will be taking that fine print to the store if needed. But I, I kind of feel like once I tightened the laces, they were a little bit better. I've been test running as much as possible. I think it's time to take them outside for a walk. I'm feeling quite comfortable. The shoes feel like I'm wearing like snuggly socks. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing shoes. Look at that. Freezing. So far as a walking shoe, I'm gonna give it like 
a nine out of 10. I feel like my foot is just getting the nicest little hug it ever could. It feels kind of weightless at the same time, which normally I don't like. I prefer a bit more support. So that's where the running test is gonna need to come in. I am used to Asics, like these big, bouldery, clunky soles, and these are thin and light. So it's just gonna be like a change of like... Style. Yeah. Good morning. We are about to go on a run to test the new shoes. Surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, this is only the second run I've done <laughs> since my race. I think I've just been putting a lot more energy into strength training. And if I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. I am motivated by deadlines. I need the deadline or I might not run. <laughs> I might not do a lot of things. AKA why I had to schedule my CPT exam to actually get my booty in gear. I was gonna wear my exact green shirt that I wore for my race today. You know, kind of in honor of that, but I'm just gonna stick to white. It is a little bit chilly-ish out. The sun is shining, which is good news because it was like hailing and thunderstorming the other day. But I'm gonna wear, this is I think a double layer, Lulu, also Lulu. Gym Plus Coffee Swift leggings, I'm nearly positive, and Bomba socks. I feel like if I attempt to do this, it's gonna be fly away, fly away, fly away. When am I just gonna sit down and teach myself how to properly do like more braids? As short as I can go. Not bad, that's not bad at all. Infant mode activated. <laughs> it's like I love the functionality of braids, but I look like a toddler. I need to hem both of these shirts. So we've got like a lot I'm gonna have to be dealing with down here. Should I wear my belt? This is like such a casual run. I always feel like a dork wearing it when I'm not going for like 10 miles. But it's so handy. They don't have to worry about my keys. I do have pockets. We'll just do that. That's fine. They're still so beautiful. Like, are you kidding me? I swear to you, like the only thing I'm not 1000% in love with is the color. But granted, I literally chose the color myself. Also, the last time I checked, they don't even have white on the website anymore. I'm guessing it either sold out really quickly or they don't have maybe like certain shipments in place to get it to be ready for order. I don't know. But I think if they had the white, I would return them for that. If the size is good, like the color is something I can absolutely get over. I still feel like I have a lot of space like up here in my toe box. I saw a few reviews on the website that people said the toe box felt narrow to them. So I think I would be nervous if I tried an eight and a half going down one half size that maybe I would feel like really squished at the top. But I think that's why today is gonna be important because I wanna see how my foot slides around, if at all. Hopefully it doesn't. My ankle is feeling very secure, so at least that's good, but everything could be different when I start running. You never know. We're bringing our snacks. Literally bringing my whole box of dates and a protein bar for afterwards and water. Oh my gosh, my headphones. I was this close to walking out without them. Ah, that would have been the second time I've done that and that would have peeved me. Such a dummy. Look at me. I woke up so early to get this done. It's already 11 o'clock. Make a wish. Oh my God, ow, ow, my legs are so sore. I feel like I'm getting nervous the closer that I'm getting, but I'm just gonna take this easy. And also it's not even about me today. We're talking about the shoes for gosh dang it. One of the reasons though, I think that this is so important to me is because I genuinely have believed for so long that I didn't like running for years for a lot of reasons, but one of the main being that I hated the shoes I was wearing. I never felt like a shoe worked with me until I went to the running store, I got fitted for my ASICs, and the rest is history. And I'm not saying that's the only shoe that's ever gonna work for me and my body, but that's what makes me so nervous to try something different. I don't wanna have to be that person that relies on their tools. I know I can run, but what if I can't do as well without the shoes I'm used to? What if these shoes just don't work with me, even though they're meant to, even though they're meant for women? Doesn't mean that they're meant specifically for me. I don't know. It's so crowded, but I'm going to um, face my fears of vlogging in public because this is important. These people don't know me. That's why I always tell myself. I don't know these people. They don't know me. I'm not judging them. They're not judging me. It helps. Okay, we're gonna do some quick warm ups, and then I'm gonna hit the road. Right now, I'm feeling a little loose in the toe box, but it's gonna be fine. Absolutely freezing. It's so windy, so I'm trying to warm up and hopefully I'll be warmer soon. Oh my god. I swear I just thought I saw like a mountain lion. But I think it was a shadow. <laughs> Me scared of my own shadow. In my defense, I've seen one here before. I think it was a baby bobcat, but still. 
I might tighten my laces kind of soon, but we'll see once I start moving. I'm just not gonna run up this hill. No, thank you, not today. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna run the hill. <laughs> and I'm feeling good so far. No slippage. Okay, I'm stopping to tighten my shoe already. I just feel like I could use it, maybe a little bit more up top. I have a really wide foot, so I didn't think that this would be my downfall. I think I just realized I really like my shoes tied quite tightly. And then of course, a double knot. We're off again. I feel a little bit better now. It kind of just feels like I'm floating a little bit. Uh, look how long my legs look. Imagine me, six foot. Please, this woman just stopped me to tell me she thinks I have a nice body. I think I might break into tears. She asked me how long I've been working out. I said quite a few years. She said, you have a really nice body. And I think she meant it in like the athletic way, not like the judging me on my body kind of way. That was so nice. I'm still in shock. What the heck? It's the shoes. Buy these shoes, add video done. Okay, I think I've come to a really good conclusion, but I'm too out of breath to talk about it right now. So I'll talk about it when I get home. But I think it's a good theory on why these shoes might be helping me. Also, while I'm here, let's normalize running because it makes you feel good. Because it's good for your body. It's good for your mind, your soul, the endorphins. It doesn't have to be associated with weight loss. Almost done. Ah. Alrighty. Ah. That was a really good run. It's warm out now. Flashback to me saying I was cold. Ah. Oh my golly. I need water, air, and protein. Ah. Okay, let's talk about my theory as to why I think that was one of my favorite runs I've ever had. <laughs> there are a lot of elements that go into a run. Of course, I can't just be reliant on a shoe to get me through it. That's kind of what I was getting at, you know, in between breaths, if you could understand me. <laughs> Running is about your endurance on so many levels, not just physically, but also your mental endurance, pushing yourself, your technique, your breathing, your stride. Like there are so many things that go into it. And yes, you can have these tools that help you, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be you who's putting in that work no matter what. So remember that whenever you're choosing any kind of shoe or any kind of product with whatever kind of training that you're doing. But here's my little revelation. I'm also really hoping I explain this kind of well, all right. During my half marathon, actually after, while I was editing all of the footage that I took and all of the vlogs I took of me running, etc., I kind of noticed I wasn't really happy with my running stride. And I kind of knew this, like I kind of knew I didn't look like a Olympic runner, <laughs> spoiler alert. But I've been having a lot of pain in my hip flexors. I think I realized that they were way too overactive. They were just running the show. And for somebody like me, that is prevalent for a lot of reasons. Primarily, uh, you can have overactive hip flexors if you're sitting quite often, if you just live a lot more of a sedentary lifestyle. If you think about it, when you're sitting down, you're how do I demonstrate what it looks like to sit down? Your knees are bent. <laughs> Therefore, if this is your metaphorical hip flexor, they're constantly in a state of tension, you know? And as much as I work out all of the time, still so much of my day, I'm sitting, I'm editing, I'm on the couch, I'm sleeping, eating, still sitting. Maybe I'm working out, but that's like an hour of my day. So the whole rest of my day, my hip flexors are so overworked. And that isn't necessarily why I think that they were so predominant in my running stride, but I don't think it helped whatsoever. So I was kind of running like this. Like I was running more up and down rather than like at a slight lean forward, which is really how you're supposed to do it. And your foot should be striking underneath you. And I was striking a little bit ahead. So I've been constantly trying to work on that, but it's not, you know, as easy as it sounds to just automatically completely switch your form in the midst of running. So this is my kind of dramatic theory. And it's like I said, it's dramatic, but I think it makes sense <laughs> in a weird way. These are our Lululemon shoes. Okay. They're very, very lightweight. I mean, probably a few ounces, but the shoe is meant to complement your foot. It feels very, very effortless when I'm running. It just kind of guides me along. It's kind of nuts. Now compare that with my traditional running shoe. These two, in my eyes, couldn't be 
further apart. They are not sisters, they are not cousins, they're definitely not twins. I don't even know if they're in the same family. Maybe like fourth cousins twice removed. I have always thought of my ASICs as my saving grace, like the thing that enabled me to become a runner. And I thought of that because I needed like this clunky shoe to get me along. And maybe because I'm in my head so bad at running, if I have such a supportive base like this, then it's going to guide me along and I'm gonna do really, really well my runs because I have so much support underneath me. Like this is a really clunky shoe. She's, she's hefty. I feel like I'm wearing a platform when I'm wearing these. So when I was trying to improve my stride today, something that I've tried so many times to do in my ASICs, it felt effortless in these. And I genuinely mean that. And I think like in a weird way, I kind of felt like I was just gliding. Like I was skating on ice. It was just, ah, uh, the best way I can describe it is endorphinic my made up word. So maybe, just maybe, this shoe was like holding me back this whole time. Maybe it was too clunky to get me along with the better stride that I can get from her. Like I said, it's kind of a far stretch, but that's the way it felt. I felt lighter, I felt faster, I felt just good. I also completely forgot until this very moment that these have my insoles in them. So I could even maybe make the experience better by putting these inside the Lulu shoes. Highly recommend an insole. I, I think it's wonderful. Like, look at this thing. Forms to my foot, gorgeous. Let's talk a few negatives because of course, like this is very unbiased. I bought these shoes with my own money. That doesn't mean a sponsored review is any less valid, but you know, sometimes it's just helpful to have something completely unbiased. I think straight from the get-go, I noticed the initial like just look of how dirty they got. Like in comparison, I've had these shoes for I think three years. Granted, they sat in my closet for a very long time, but I've been training in these for three months. And yeah, like they don't look perfect, but I went on a walk and one run in these. Like it's lighter colors, I'm guessing that's why, but I feel like I could see these easily looking dirty. Now, of course, you know, they're shoes. <laughs> they're meant to get dirty, but I don't like the look of super rundown shoes, but I'm sure an easy fix pop them in the washing machine, wipe them down with a magic eraser, you're good to go. I think some of the online reviews might be a teeny bit right about something just being off in the toe box. I think that's why I was so indecisive about my fit, especially at the beginning of this video, because it feels like there's a lot of extra space right here, but you're snug kind of prematurely. So it does help you when you're running because you're kind of constantly jutting forward into the toe box, but it, it feels like I should size down, but at the same time, they're a perfect fit. So something's a teeny, teeny bit off. I naturally have a very wide foot. Maybe if you have a completely different foot structure than me, you're not going to like these at all. That's why I will always tried and true recommend getting fitted for your running shoes. No matter what you see online or who's recommending something, it could work perfectly for one person and you could absolutely hate it because the truth is we all have different feet. We all have different needs and it doesn't matter what kind of shoes you're wearing. It's just whatever enables you the best. Some people like running barefoot and that's totally great too. To be honest, I'm still sad they don't have the white because I would totally buy the white and make them my everyday walking shoes. And not that I won't walk in these, but you know, they're a choice. I got a few people looking at my shoes. Maybe they were jealous, maybe they were confused, or maybe they were just stunned by the lime green and, and pink combination. I showed them to my friend and he was like, interesting that they, they would pick those colors together. And I'm like, well, I'm actually the one that purchased, so I don't know what's worse. Anywho, I really, really am quite satisfied with these. I think I knew I was going to like them, but I was really, really nervous for the run, and I think that sold me entirely. In fact, if you wanna be sold 1 million percent on these shoes, go watch Natasha's recent video, where she ran for 24 hours straight, and the entire time she was running in Lululemon shoes, these shoes specifically. So if you could run for 24 hours in a single pair of shoes, I think that's a done deal, <laughs> which is so incredible. Like if she isn't just the coolest person on the internet. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you have specific questions about the shoes that I can answer, let me know in the comments down below. I will give any more helpful information maybe in the description box on my size, the specific shoe that I purchased. And if you'd like me to review anything else in the coming weeks, let me know. I love review videos. I think they're fun. I think that they give an honest look into what this product is like in the consumer mindset. And it's just, it's fascinating to me. Thank you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one.